Hello everyone, and welcome to the front seat of my parents' car. <laughs> uh, I am up at the church here in North Bay. I'm just waiting for the pastor to come so that we can do music practice for this coming Sunday. And I thought I'd just take a few, mo a few moments oh, to check in with you. <laughs> Even if I can't speak properly, at least I'm here and I'm checking in. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day. Uh, I'm not certain if that's steam on the window or dirt or anything, but anyway, so there it is. So I'm here for music practice, and the pastor should be here fairly soon. But yeah, I just want to take a couple of moments to check in and uh, let you know that we're doing okay. We're going status quo, Mom and I and the family. This This whole thing... Um, uh, with, with my father passing away, uh, three weeks ago now, my golly, um, it, it's, it's the whole family that's involved, of course. It's, uh, mom and myself and my aunt and my uncle and Stevie and James and, and everybody going through the whole thing, uh, together and yet separately. And the one thing, um, that we keep clinging to and we can cling to and we can rely on is Jesus Christ himself and all of the promises that he made. You know, there are so many books about one, one minute in heaven and seeing heaven and glimpses of heaven. And we have thoughts of what heaven will be truly like when we, we um, read the scriptures and we just focus in on, on different things like that. But you know... I think all really said and done, I think other than what we find in the scripture, um, see, if, if we saw heaven really ourselves, would we really ever want to come back? Would we, would we ever be satisfied <laughs> with our world here? And so we don't know um, the in-betweens. There are so many different theologies about whether we are straight there or not. Or if there's such a thing as soul sleep, and that's that's a giant thing about whether we're just kind of kind of like if you were sitting in the in the back seat of the car, and you were traveling along, right? And your parents would say, "Well, just have a rest, and the time will go a whole lot faster, and you won't have to keep saying, is it much further now?'" So there's that kind of an idea that our souls just sleep until such time as the the resurrection time, and we are all called home to be with Christ. The one thing we know, 100% for certain, is that no matter where dad is, so to speak, we know he's okay. We know it's all good. We know God's got him. Just like he's always had him here on earth, we know that in between, God's still got him and we don't need to be concerned. And I know that sounds like a really weird thing, but I tell you, until you have experienced death on this side, you may not quite understand what it is I'm talking about. I know we, a lot of people will say to us, oh, well, he's in a better place, he's in a better place. And 100% uh, certain that is true. It's just exactly what is the better place has been open for debate amongst theologians and Christians and, and everybody for a very long time. But as God has always had us, here and as salvation deals with our spirits which is the peace that lives on you see this is just just a body i mean this, this is just a, a a home shell right now for the spirit that's really inside me right my my essence my my life my real spirit is is just on the inside here but as i have the company of the holy spirit here with me as well and living inside of me as well as for guidance and direction and and all that beautiful fruit that comes from him the the, the, the slices of, of the one fruit of the, of the spirit the, the joy and the peace and the strength all those things right and so we trust that no matter no matter what it is no matter what that step is between now and eternity as we are knowing that it's going to be we know God's got it. And so we trust and we hang on to that. So this is a very strange 
video, perhaps. I think I might even title it, where, where is dad right now? Or, or something to that effect. Because there are so many theories and nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows. It, it's kind of like, you can look at uh, the end times and there are true, um, like, th there's three different theories that the rapture could be pre-trib, post-trib, or mid-trib. I'm kind of like to go pre, personally. But there are all these things, and nobody knows. Nobody knows for certain. Why? Because we aren't there yet. And so it is with death. Nobody knows for certain because why? We haven't done that yet. But let me encourage you, especially if you are going through a time of grief, and the loss of a loved one who had Jesus Christ as their Savior. As God had them here, as God has you and in the palm of his hand right here, it continues. It does not change. He is there and we are with him no matter where, no matter what, no matter when. And we are going to be with him and we're going to be together again. So. A strange one but hopefully an encouraging one I, I pray that you will be blessed that you will know God's peace and his joy the joy of the Lord not happiness <laughs> that's a fleeting thing that goes along with happenings but the joy that deep deep um, river that flows down deep within the joy of the Lord is our strength <laughs> blessings everyone